Hey guys, this is a tor tutorial on the Nook color, the new, brand new Nook, touchscreen Nook color. This is what the box will look like. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna find the Nook color. It's not gonna, it's gonna be put together, but not with a case and everything. I just thought it'd be a nice effect just to put it in there. And then what you'll find in this would be the charger and or the charger or somewhere in the charger, um, and the UBS cord is in here in the outlet and then here's a packet welcome to your nook color it teaches you pretty much all about it but I'm gonna make sure you don't have to read all that manual and I'm just gonna go through it in this video so you just gotta close that okay here we go first of all you're gonna need to charge it for about an hour maybe even less and then after it's charged you gotta press the power button which is on the side you probably can't see it because I have a case on and then you're gonna have a background. It turns out pretty quick. And then to open it, you're gonna slide that. And then it's gonna take you to this. You're you're not gonna have all these books and apps that I have, or maybe not that, because it this I already bought stuff online. Okay, so if you here we're gonna do wallpaper. If you want a different wallpaper, you hold the back screen, and it says these two little options. It's kind of bright, looks all white, but on the bottom one it says change wallpaper. You hit that, it takes you to this. And if you, I'm going to teach you later about photo gallery. I already have some in there, but there's different backgrounds you could do. Right now I have a pyramid. It's not on here because I have it in my photo gallery. And I'll teach you about this guy uh, later. So you could select a wallpaper. I already have mine. And to X out of there, you just tap anywhere, like, but that icon. Next is the status bar. There's a little black line with this in the corner. And this read book in the corner. You're going to tap all this, like, different stuff in the corner. Just quickly like, tap it. And that's going to come up with this. It's going to say, your battery life. Mine says 75 discharging because it's not powered it's not charging I mean and then the Wi-Fi you're gonna have to it's gonna f give you the instructions when you first get it of how to set up the Wi-Fi and you're gonna set up the mute I don't have that on because I like listening to music and I like listening to YouTube and this auto rotate screen means if you're watching a video and it's like a sideways video which it usually is on a nook or on an iPod which is I'm recording sorry if it's a narrow sorry if it's narrow for the this um, iPod. So that's just the quick status bar. You can change your brightness. It tells you pretty much a quick settings. And then to go to read what you last read, you if you just barely got it, then you're not gonna have anything there. Um, that's a newsstand that I had. I don't know why it's there, but what I last read is that on my II docs was on an II animal that I did for school that I downloaded on my Nook. I'll get to that later. Just a bunch of facts for it. You could just tap, or actually, next is the knob bar. I think it's called the knob bar. But there's a little end button at the bottom. It's right there. And you just press it once. And then there's these different little icons at the bottom. There's settings for uh, if you if you just barely got it second day, you might want to set it up and see if you're all up to date web app search that's search your nook shop library and home right now we're going to go to settings oops it it closes out after when you don't use it so i'm going to go to settings and there's all this device settings and app settings there's home shop social reader i'm not going to go to that right now i'm going to go to device info that tells pretty much this which is on the status bar, only the battery, and then you're gonna hit about your nook, about your nook color, the owner, cover up the last name, can't see that, my account, the software version is software version 1.4.1. .1. Uh, that is the most up to date since it is February 21st, 2012. Um, yeah. And then that's up to date, and you gotta go back. You can fix up the social and reader search sounds and everything later. You gotta go hit this little end button, hit home, and then in the corner, 
if you're up to date, it says notifications. No notifications right now, but you will get notifications. Next thing is you go to press this N, the home, and you hit library. This is only for the updated version. I'm not sure if it has it otherwise. It comes up with these are your books. I don't have a lot. I only have a few. Um, these are your magazines. I I don't have any newspapers. I don't have any again. These are my apps. You can really love that game. Um, these are all emails. Council social. You can fix that on um, your settings. But these are all the apps I have. And Nook friends, you're gonna probably want to get that because any any person that you know has a Nook, you get searched their first and last name and their Nook address and stuff, and then you could become your friend. The only person I know, which this is pretty sad, try not to laugh, is my brother I have for it, because um, he has a Nook color too, and um, I I only know his, because I don't know any other of my friends that have a Nook color in my school. So, it you should have My Media, well, I'm not sure if you do, but if you go to My Stuff, sorry about that, Stripes. Um, it's just how it is. Um, you can go to my files. You could have it like a media like this, but that's like really hard to read. So you gotta go up in the corner, up in the corner where this is, and there's gotta be two different options. This is for the files. This grid thing is for an easier page thing. It's really th th that's my music. I don't have a lot of music because I'll get to that later. It's just a USB mode. And then this is your search bar, and if you hit these circles right in the corner here, they should start to spin. That means it's checking for all updates that should be updated for your files on on any iPhone, Android tablet, iPod, anything that's connected to your Wi-Fi. This is kids books that you kid stuff that that will be recommended for kids my stuff again there's my shelves you can create your own shelves of what you want on it this is one shelf I like to call books and social and then my other shelf is um, it's called apps because these are all my apps okay Th this is pretty basic I like this update it's nice so what you want to do is go back to home and then to get to shop, you press this button at the bottom end, home, and then you hit shop. And then it, if you have it updated, it's going to be like that. Otherwise, it's going to be different. So then you should be able to scroll. You could search the shop, whatever books you want. Browse my next door, and you can go to my account in the corner. My credit cards, I don't know why you have to enter in a credit card. But it's just for backup. It doesn't really do anything. I mean, you're just giving that just in case you don't pay. I mean, I had to do it. It didn't do anything. All you do is just enter in your credit card. You can enter in my uh, gift card. And my wish list happens to one person pretty much in like five months. My wish list is like pretty much a list for you. But sometimes you get what you want from Nook. It's just a gift. But that's very rare to have that. Okay, that's that. Go to home. And then if it's updated, you should have these. Books, newsstand, movie, music, and apps. So if you're looking for the best apps that out on next door, these are my these are your apps that are up here. And then these are these are the best apps out, apparently. And then you can scroll these are the best apps out right now February 20th just tap outside the bed and then um... 2000, well, February uh, 20th 2012 that is what the best apps are for now you can go to movies um... I don't have any movies but unless it's on my media which is music I'll put to that later these are best movies uh... videos out just tap outside the screen and then there's I did maps. There's best music. These are the music apps I have: Pandora, Radio, My Piano, and Music Player. Here's our mo here's our most popular music apps, or just music. Okay, that's the end of that list.
Okay, and next thing is, um, here, go to, uh, hit this home button thing, and if you can hit apps, and then if you have any apps, that stripe is very disturbing, okay, if you hit apps, it'll take you to a library and take you to your apps, go scroll down, see all your apps, okay, next is if you have my media or music player, um, I have it down here, so my media takes you to your gallery. Otherwise, you know how I showed you earlier when you hold, when you hold this, you, when you hold your background, it tells you change wallpaper or clean up this panel. If you hit clean up this panel and your book's all messy, it puts them back in range, like all neat. So you go to my media, takes you to the gallery, all photos that you have, you can download teach you about UBS mode again um, I'm almost running out of time I might make a different video for UBS mode depends this might end any time so if I'm just it's a cliffhanger I'm sorry about that so okay so our next one is if you go to this you can go to web and then I'll take. I uh, I was last on Nook Color Tips and Tricks. Um, this is pretty much what the video was about. And then it's well, it's basically Barnes and Noble. Cause I got this about uh, last Christmas, you know, a year ago, um, home. And then my music player. I downloaded a few a uh, few music albums. I last had playing Waka Waka. And it's playing right now. Okay, so then if you want to. Hit browse in the corner. This is um, all the music I have right now because I was downloading it from my um, computer to this. I'll teach you about that in a, probably another video on UBS mode. Um, you could plug it up to your computer. You could download a bunch of songs. I I can only do one because I don't have any sp a lot a lot of space left. And that's pretty much it, except for one thing. If you have a um, SD card and you want more space, here's how to put it in. So you're going to want to power all the way off if you want to put it in, but you might want to watch another video on how to insert it. This is just where it is, so I'm just going to power this off. And I'm going to take off my case if you have a case. This might take a minute. Sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Just to talk to the camera. Sorry. Just powered off. And then it's a naked one. Okay? Gotta flip it to the back. And then there's this where this nook thing is. It says nook. Actually, it's a little panel. You could flip it up. And there's a little slot right here you can't see it's like really dark let me get try to get in the light there's a little slot right there where you put it into the you put an sd card it's spring loaded so when you hear a little when you hear a little click like it's fade sound that means you um it's uh in, insert it in you could just pop it back and that is all for this next video um catch up on my next video on ubs um, how to download files and videos and stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.